Okay. Um, my urban features include, can I say that again? <laughs> my urban future includes uh, high impact collaborative design. Um, I look forward to a time when people get together to make things that don't exist uh, for a sustainable future. My urban future includes the animals and the, the homeless, the dispossessed, the disempowered, and the artists. And what I really want to see is a city, and it doesn't only have to be Montreal, but a, an idea of the city as a place where it's possible to be different. The purpose of the Institute for Urban Futures for me is to be a platform for a robust and deeply ethical dialogue about uh, who the city belongs to and how to teach the city in a way that encourages citizenship, the sense of active, uh, not ownership, but stewardship of the places that we have in common in the built environment. And I would really love the Institute for Urban Futures to be the place, and it doesn't have to be a physical place, maybe it's a roving <laughs> platform, where we talk about what the city, our city, for example, most urgent, urgently needs, and it should be a platform where we, as uh, members of the university community, also listen to what people outside our community have to say about what is most urgently needed. And then to ask ourselves, what can we do to give that? My urban future includes participation, community, what else? Diversity. Mm -hmm. Cultural vibrancy, equity. Element. Um, All the good things. <laughs> I think there's a lot of talk about changing the way things are done and breaking the normative ideas, but how can that really happen? I think there's a lot of potential in the social and environments that enable some unpredictable, fun, maybe problematic social encounters. My urban future includes a city where communities can work with designers from, ac from academia as well as business people to be able to think of new ways of living and experiencing and playing and working in the city in a way also that helps them understand the issues of climate change. Think of city planning as something that is delivered and on the other side we have users that actually appropriate the city. And I think that it's a, we could think of a broader way of understanding the city as city making, as if we were all city makers. And therefore I think it is key to think of how can we make a city by uh, all of these citizens? How can we engage more people in the production of their own reality in the city? My urban futures include designing for the animal, uh, which inherently becomes designing for the human. And I see that this gathering uh, of minds and ideas is, is a context where we can um, brainstorm about how we can contribute to how our communities are nurtured and um, and uh, which directions they, they choose to focus on and there's so many ways that we can do that but uh, with with what I can bring what can I what can I offer how can I imagine even beyond what I'm already imagining? <laughs> um, my urban future includes um, a shift in perspective on how we see possibilities of materials 
and a change in the way that we um, gather and collect the materials that we already have in this world. Um, my work is really around creative reuse and looking and finding the possibilities um, of, of um, materials and um, things that are traditionally deemed waste. Um, and making them available to uh, projects and artists and people that are doing amazing things. Uh, initiating or collaborating uh, on projects uh, within the urban sphere to connect with uh, people uh, both with and, and, and not uh, in association to academia. I'm interested in um, storytelling as an, as, a, as an artist, that's what I think I do and I'm interested in storytelling as a visual or physical or event, as opposed to take back the night. I think I'm interested in take back the space. My urban future includes a place where my children are safe. Um, my urban future includes a place where my role as an artist is one that is um, as inspirational as it is a place of agency and action, social, artistic, justice, all of those elements included. I want us to explore growing our food and using green spaces in the city together, not just I have my green space, but green spaces as places that we share I want my urban future to be people for people, in fact. And um, my urban future certainly includes less cars. I need them away. <laughs> I don't want to inhale what they generate. Um, I want us to be able to walk on the streets. I want us to be able to ride our bicycles. And all of that in respectful ways, so that nobody feels excluded. So let's create an urban space that includes those of us who don't read and write, those of us of different cultures, those of us um, who are not able-bodied. My urban future includes pleasure. Uh, my urban future includes the shadows, the cracks in the sidewalk, um, the uh, bricks missing from the wall, the weeds that um, take over the park, the uh, people who aren't supposed to be there, the um, nighttime, the early hours of the morning, the middle of the hot baking day. My urban futures includes the people who aren't supposed to be there and the people who make spaces more spectacular by them being there, the people who aren't allowed to be there, and the people who want to be there.